I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. I don't know how the Van Damming has been treating y'all, but I think I forgot how to express emotions. Or how to even feel emotions. A couple like moments ago, literally, like I am like fresh out of the oven right now. Like moments ago, I witnessed probably the most obnoxious music video I've seen in a very long time. Um, it's by DJ Khaled. You smart. The music video is called Let It Go, and it features none other than Justin Bieber and 21 Savage. And you know, DJ Khaled, just look at every one of his projects he delivers, um, because I literally was re-able to refill emotions. Like, thank you. Like, I forgot how that feels. And like, you might think that I'm exaggerating, but I feel like you didn't watch this music video yet, um, because I am totally not exaggerating. Um, and if you haven't watched it, Perfect because I you have to watch it with somebody like me like I I Have to talk about what I just witnessed with somebody because this is this was good All right, so the music video is called let it go. It features Justin Bieber and 21 Savage. It's a new year It's a new decade. It's a new world and it's a new watch. <laughs> We're billionaires yes, Cheers, yes, cheers. Sir. Let's go golfing. Let's go. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. I mean, yeah, it was pretty obnoxious because I wish that I could start my brand new year on a golf course. So I want you to imagine myself sitting at a couch witnessing this music video as it went down, like in real time. This is my second time watching this music video right now, but when I watched it the first time, the first thing that I noticed was a, what's going on with DJ Khaled's hair. And it's a new watch. <laughs> so that's it. I was captivated. I knew that I was into something deep. And considering how long DJ Khaled has been around and making music videos that all got stories like this about like, like some like ball or ass scenarios that just do not exist that the average person does not go through. <laughs> and he captivates you in these music videos with it. Like it's by design, right? Like that's, that's why his hair's like that. Cheers, cheers. Let's go golfing. Let's go golfing is like the white girl version of like, let's go to Starbucks. But like, if you're like a rich white man, you know what has to suck right now in America? Being a white man that enjoys golfing. Like you, you dead ass just enjoy golfing and you're also white. Like. <sighs> <laughs> Not sure what the look that Justin Bieber is going for, but he's riding around in a lawnmower. I'm gonna grind, gonna shine until my time's up. I got money on my mind, is that a crime? Yeah. Don't wanna go back to the days when I was broke. When was that, Justin Bieber? When you were eight years old? Or are you talking about when you had like $5 million and then you got $10 million? So now $5 million was actually broke? That's probably what you're, what you're talking about. Like, guys. Like I said, I don't know how the pandemic has been treating you, but there's levels to being rich, man. It's amazing. So is my bank. Got a hundred bucks for you. Think you could hit across that fairway? <laughs> I'll give it a go. I got a hundred billion. Did you guys see that? I got a hundred billion. Like Justin Bieber was like walking through the shot. And then you, you got DJ Khaled like in the background, like I got a hundred billion. billion, which at that point, you know, to never get into an argument with somebody like that. Like, even if you're in the right, they'll just say I, they got a hundred billion. Can't argue with that. I mean, you just can't. Huh? Pretty sure Justin Bieber swung that. Not you, but okay, yeah. We, we should give him all of the credit. After all, this is a DJ Khaled music video. Um, it was at this point that I started realizing that this is about to get really ridiculous. Because what is even going on? They're at a golf club, but look at the houses in the back. Those are some cheap houses. So this, this community is not even all that. I knew when I seen you, you were special. We a team, and teamwork make a dream work. You family now. We're gonna get a lot of money together. But in life, you're gonna be tested. And today we're gonna get tested. Yeah, like, bro, you're moving a little bit too quick. Like, we just met and you already wanna put me on your team. Which is what's going through Justin Bieber's head. At least that's what will be going on through my head. 
if I was in Justin Bieber's shoes. You got a lot of money. So do I. Stay ready. Imagine being friends with somebody like that in like the real world. Like, yo, bro, did you hear that the basketball player just made like a lot of money off of that deal? He has a lot of money, but like, so do I. I really enjoy basketball. Like, no matter where he goes, he has to remind people about how much money he has. Every time somebody brings up that there's a person around him that has a lot of money. Like, imagine how annoying that would be. And he got a lot of money. So do I. Stay ready. Be ready. So in case you were, you know, wondering if 21 Savage has more money than DJ Khaled. I mean, we, we, we don't know. We just know that they both got a lot of money. DJ Khaled, rest assured that we, we are aware that he has a lot of money. If you think DJ Khaled's broke, like, like so far throughout this whole video, if you even for an instant, okay, thought that DJ Khaled had no money, rest assured that he does, okay? But more importantly, be war ready. Let's go golfing. What was that? Let's go golfing. Like, I'm afraid to look at that edit later because I couldn't look at myself while I did that because I had to look that way. So maybe he just didn't see what he looked like. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Why does 21 Savage in this scene look like he came up with the world's like most ingenious scheme? And I put your heart way over me. So I'ma let go of things I can't control. So I'ma let go of things I can't control. Oh my goodness. Don't play with the money. Oh my God. <laughs> What is going on? I mean, at first I got lost because, you know, it's like a cute little pop song. You know, it talks about how, like, you know, like, make make time. Don't don't just be all about the money. But at the same time, this is all about the money because DJ Khaled literally risked his own life to go and wrestle with an alligator. I would only do that if there's, like, a lot of money involved. So... I mean, I'm not sure how much money was involved in the making of this music video, but he literally risked his life for almost um, wrestling uh, an alligator. They're literally in Lamborghini golf carts, bro, with the butterfly doors, bro. Literally, in this whole music video, they're like stunting about how much money they have from playing golf. I assume like they're they're literally in Lamborghini golf carts with butterfly doors like their level of wealth is unimaginable for uh, like a normal person but don't worry about it because you should stop and make time because not everything's about the money oh. in case you were worried okay in case you were wondering in uh, like if you didn't catch that okay um guys if you were honestly worried um right there right there uh you trick your tricked out golf rental was successful your remaining balance is is that 57 million dollars so i mean if you were ever like ever in your life if, if you were just wondering like oh my goodness like if you stayed up late nights wondering I wonder if DJ Khaled has a lot of money. You don't gotta worry no more, okay? Because like, guaranteed he has a lot of money. He has $57 million in his Chime account. <laughs> you know, like, this song talks about how like, uh, sometimes in life bad things could happen to you. So like, don't worry about it. Like, let it go. Like, let go of things you can't control. When you got $57 million in the bank though, like, I feel like, the things that you cannot control are way different than the things that people that don't have nowhere even like $500 in the bank account could control, right? So it's like, depending on where you are in life or depending if you were born to the, to the right family in life, this song could mean something completely different to no matter who listens to it, which which is why it's it was beautiful. It was it was a beautiful song, okay? Um, it was amazing, artistic. Um, a song that, that could definitely travel through time. 